start with Mel. Uh, Sean. Okay, Mel. Uh, how did you feel about your series, mate? You seemed to hit them uh, pretty well today. You seemed to bowl pretty steadily. Um, yeah, like certainly better friendly conditions on the wickets, mate. Um, but you know, certainly would have liked to have performed a little bit better with the ball, especially last game. We had a good opportunity there to defend a, a pretty good total um, that the batters gave us, and um, Zamps and Nathan Ellis managed to get a couple of key wickets late. So a um, little bit disappointed. I couldn't have done a little bit better there to help defend that total, but. You know, plenty of lessons to take out of it. I thought the Pakistan batters batted very well, um, especially in that second game. Thanks. You yeah, all good, Mel? Don't want to follow up? Oh, yeah, just, um, just on your batting. Your batting really seems to have come on over the last uh, year or so. Do you feel like you're a genuine all-rounder now? Um, yeah, probably just a bit more comfortable with the competition with the bat, Mel. And been sent over the, the boundary fence enough times as a bowler to get a few back at back with the bat so um, but there's been been plenty of opportunities the last 12 months at home with the blues and the sixes so I'm um, just trying to make the most of those opportunities and then you know obviously today in the last couple of games is there's, there's been an opportunity to go out there with the bat so just trying to make the most of those Louis thanks Louis hey hey Sean thanks Cole hey, um, you've obviously been one of the um, you know the better BBL bowlers over the last um, few seasons What's a um, you know this Recording one off T twenty? Um, yeah, this one off T twenty. I, I know it's only one game, but is it a bit of an opportunity for you in, in that format? Yeah, I mean that's it. Man, we're on an Australian tour, playing against you know a, a very good Pakistan team. Um, there's obviously been a few guys rested for both of these tours, but um, you know another opportunity to learn and, and and play for my country and represent my country. So. Um, Still, you know, looking to do a similar role probably than I would back home uh, with the Sixers, you know, bowling anywhere from 1 to 20 and, um, yeah, just looking to put myself in a position where I can can win matches. So, it'll be no different um, on the weekend. Any ideas on how you get Baba Azam out? Will it be a bit easier in a T20 when he's, um, when he's <laughs> maybe going a bit harder at you? He's, he's due to hit one to a fielder on the full, isn't he? Um, no, I think he's put on a bit of a masterclass the last couple of games as to how to bat on these wickets. I mean, it's obviously a little bit better to bat here at night when the dew comes in and a little bit more difficult during the day. Now, they've obviously got the, the thing to reverse um, pretty quickly, you know, even, the t even in the test matches and then pretty early on um, in, in all three one days. Maybe, we, I don't think we'll see it in the T20, but um, you know, I think he's really, really showed um, how to bat in these conditions when, when it's a little bit tougher here during the day and the wickets keep getting a bit low. Andrew McGlashan. Hey, hey, Sean. Just to um, go back to the question about the batting from Mal earlier, do you have the confidence that you could hold down the number seven spot in the one-day side if, if, if they look to, to, to sort of structure the side a bit differently, maybe with an extra bowling option? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, obviously, Ashton Agar has been... was probably looking at that spot as well, and, you know, I'd, I'd stick my hand up to, to bat anywhere if, if they back me into bat at any position, so... You know, obviously, <laughs> would love to bat as high as I can uh, for any team in any format. Um, you know, I'd much prefer to be out there in the middle playing than on the sideline watching and waiting to bat. So, yeah, you know, I'd love to do that if, if possible. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thanks. Last one here, Mel Farrell. Thanks, Cole. Hey, Sean. Hey, Melinda. Um, just, just uh, again, just on the, on the batting. Uh, the, the way, just wondering what sort of conversations you were having with Adam Zamper out there in particular. Just the, you seem to have a, a lot of confidence in, in handling that situation. So where, just yeah. So what you talked about and, and kind of how you've developed that confidence in being able to to bat with the tail like that. Um, yeah, I mean it was given the way the wicket was playing. If you're at that stage anyway, and the ball was reversing, if you were looking to play square, you were going to get into trouble. Um, I just told Zamps to play back towards the sight screen and Zem's obviously played quite a lot of cricket now and um, is pretty experienced even you know if he has to come out there in that situation um, but we were still having the chat we, we had to get as many runs as possible you know they but they chased down 350 last game you know two, 200 250 was was not going to be enough you know we'll obviously back ourselves as a bowling unit to go out and start the match well in the bowling innings and, and defend whatever we leave ourselves with the bat but um you know, we, we had to do whatever we could to get as many runs as we can. So, um, and I think Zamps did very well. Um, 
um, you know, we always probably try and pick apart that sort of situation in the game at the end and see how we can play it a little bit better. But I think Zamps did very well. You know, it was tough conditions. As I, as I said, the, the ball was reversing and the wicket was staying a bit low. So, you know, credit to him. You know, we managed to put on a few runs there and, um, you know, he, he saw out some, some pretty important overs there for us. Thanks Mel, thanks guys. As you can probably hear in the background, we're being ushered to the bus, so I um, appreciate it everyone. Thanks again, we'll catch you all uh, tomorrow. Thanks guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Recording stopped.